So, tell me, how was your adventure? A charming boy, but simple. My brother and I do prefer them witless and eager. He would have done so much more for us if not for you. Before the war, we plundered Rothir from within. We were so successful that the Warsworn had bounties on our heads. Not much, but enough to be proud of. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. With the arrival of so many wartime outlaws, we were forced to relocate here. It was for the best, if you ask me. Legend states that the wearer of the veil will be granted strange abilities. Fey abilities. So you can imagine why my brother and I might be curious. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The fae lands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. Then you'll have to pay for it with your life. You see, we have much invested in this deception. Blood, gold, not to mention the hours wasted on Egan. We may be criminals, but we're an honourable pair. We worked hard for our prize, and now we mean to have it. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil, then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. Let's hope this is good. Let's... I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so... magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Goodbye now. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power! Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. See you later. Yeah? Great, Mitharu. Egan has returned. As for you... You have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. It is only by the grace of Mitharu that Egan has been returned to us. Of course, you had a hand in that miracle as well. The authority works in many ways.
sadly, Egan is only one of my charges. There are many here who carry with them the baggage of time and experience. Oh, I didn't see you come in. I was reading this letter and... Is there anything I... Can I... I never thought it would happen. They're coming. Even with everything else going on in this village, the Red Legion is coming for me. I'll admit it. My past is a tapestry of drunkenness and loose morals, women and wine. I'm not proud of it, but I couldn't have gotten where I am without making mistakes. The people here are kind, yet suspicious. They believe the mission harbors secrets, and they're right. It filled the hunger I was hoping to sate with wine, women, anything and everything. The mission gives my life meaning. I was not always the pious man you see before you. No, I was a scoundrel, a raider in the dreaded Red Legion, a gang of the notorious bandit Red the Dead Idward. But plunder could not sustain me. I wanted something more. Several of us faked our deaths and deserted, always knowing that Red might track us down. And now, he has. It's all here in Red's letter. He demands we satisfy the blood right. Two lives for one. He'll let me go, but only if I kill the men who deserted with me. But I cannot. I could hand myself over to Red, but he'd have me killed. The only other choice is to kill the men who left with me. I can't do that. I'm not the man I used to be. I do what I must. I only hope Ugnar and Itrin will forgive me. Ugnar works in Gorhart village. Itrin haunts the ruins near Haxi, still struggling with his demons. Be on your guard. I fear they will likely come for me as well. When it's finished, take their daggers and bring them to Red Edward. He will demand proof. Take mine to start. Good luck, my friend. May Metharu bless you. It is a sacrament of the Red Legion. When you commit a crime, you must pay a penance. Surrender your life or the lives of two others. Ugnar could always be found by Red's side, Red's right hand. But beneath his brutal exterior, Ugnar was a good man, tortured by the ghosts of his dead wife and children. Itrin, however, rivals only Red Idward in his bloodlust. They say he was once a Justicar, but was expelled for brutality. His devotion to his god Enadon is fanatical. I fought under Red for years, yet I know nothing of him. I do know this. He will do anything to get what he wants. The most dangerous kind of man is one without limits. Ugnar works for the inn at Gorhart. Etrin has taken to calling himself the Shade, and robs travelers in Haxi. Mitharu is with you. How can I help? Uh. I'm glad you are well. His curiosity got the best of him. And we almost lost him. He's a good soul, but young, foolish. He will learn in time. Mitharo has led us to this hilltop for a reason. And that is to end the Fae's long cycle of kinship with chaos. These poor creatures crave order. Look around you. This whole forest is a shrine to nature. Which is, as you know, Mitharo's greatest gift. The men and women of Gorhart are good people, but I tend not to socialize with them. Their concerns are their own, as are those of St. Odwig's. Her lies and accusations border on heresy. That one 
better watch her words lest they coil back to bite her in the throat. This mission was founded to aid all those seeking Mitharu's divine order. There are others as well. St. Hadwin's is east of here, and St. Edric's is to the south. He is the authority, the great creator, the being of supreme order. All Almain claim him as their own. Of course, his wisdom is available to all who seek it. Make yourself at home. Forgive me if I seem a little on edge. I keep expecting to see them. Mitharu is with you. I'm still deciding whether or not my decision to join St. Odwig's was a good one. Aside from my near death, it's been quite peaceful. He's a kind man for taking me back among the brothers. It will take time, but I will work my way into his heart again. I have faith. I'm ashamed at how they used me. I was so ignorant, so greedy. I only wanted to feel like I understood the world. They took advantage of that. This is where I belong. I knew nothing of the greater world when I arrived, but now I have tasted the fruit of temptation. I have rededicated myself to prayer and scripture. I have stumbled, but Mitharu has granted me mercy. And I won't disappoint him again. See you later. come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Matharu's embrace. 
Ha! The hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Mitharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse. Mitharu, you found the ordination tome. I'd give a sack of gold to see the look on Father Dinwell's face. He will no longer be able to deny my entrance to the Order. Mitharu does embrace all. Thank you. I won't need any gold as a servant of Mitharu. Take what I have. It's yours. I will remember you in my prayers. Make it quick. I've got work to do. Can't pay my debts with firewood, not in Gorehart. I knew it was only a matter of time, and I'm not surprised. Delph will do anything to save his own hide, but hiring a sword to do his bloody work is disgraceful. If you want to collect my dagger, you'll have to fight me for it. Steel for steel. I used to be quite the scrapper. Didn't Delph tell you that? Edward knows where I am. When he shows up, the only thing to keep me from death is still having this knife. You're right. I've spent years trying to bury my past, hoping to wash away my sins with an honest day's work. If I took the blood right, Red would owe me once more. Take my dagger. Tell him I'm dead. For the Ugnar Odd Grey you once knew is truly gone. What's up, my friend? Hello. Care to part with some gold?
goodbye. Yes? What do you need? So long. Need something? Don't start any trouble. Believe me, the attack has me spooked. I'm not even a proper warden, just a volunteer. I'll stick to jail duty. At least there, the criminals are behind locked doors. My cousin is Herc Adwald, the village warden. You might have met him. Herc asked me to move to Gorhart to help him keep the peace. I've only been here a few days, and look what I'm up against. Red Legion, two author, and bodies lying in the road. I'm off to a grand start. You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha, a vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace, at least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. Our guests aren't the wickedest breed you'll find in these forests, but they're bad enough to earn a spot in my collection. Stay clear. That's an order. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. The Brothers of St. Odwigs are an odd sort, scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Tuatha were mad. They have been touched by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted and they are the enemy. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. What are you doing down here? 
Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So? Are you foolish or just stupid? Not much is known about the fabled beings of order. They abandoned this world long ago, leaving ruins such as this as a testament to their glory. I hope that by spreading tales of spirits and boogeymen, they could prevent the curious villagers from exploring too deeply. One can always hope. I'm skilled in alchemy, but it has never brought me riches or respect. The only way I will ever find glory in this life is as part of the Red Legion. She, like so many others in Gorehart, is prone to ignorance. She sees what she wants to see. I am her dutiful apprentice, and she is the wise mentor. Her whole life is a lie, she tells herself. They're very careful about whom they allow into their ranks, and they were resistant about my membership at first. At least until I told them about Nanny. Her discovery will fetch a high price in Rithir, could even decide this misbegotten war. Still, that is no concern of mine. I simply want to be one of the Red. Oh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? Hard to believe, but you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. 
Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home, for anyone. These walls are grown, are built of stone. Lovingly this place was crafted. You see the lights, the mystic halls of ordered reality? They are the faces of the missing, the embodied truth of the lost souls. There are so many of them. Still, you can see them. They are like pathetic charades, some with good intentions, and you can't fault them that. But the majority of them are just a hoax. Needless to say, I don't like it here. You could have stayed free and lived a comfortable life, but you couldn't settle a disquiet that haunts people like you.